What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm showing you how to use Test Junkie in order to optimize your tests for speed without writing any additional code. In this particular video, we're going to be achieving about 19 times faster execution time. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to run this right now and then I'll explain what's going on because this actually takes some time to run. So over here, I have two suites. There is example suite A, which has some tests defined uh, inside of it. There's four basic tests, which don't really assert anything. There's sleep inside of it. Uh, we're gonna come back to the results here in a bit. Um, and then there is one test which is uh, parameterized, which will actually take five seconds to run. So all these tests take one second each. This test is actually going to take five seconds to run because it has to go through five parameters and it sleeps for each one of those parameters. So overall, each of the suites, they are exactly identical. Same thing with example suite B. So each of the suites will take nine seconds to run. So we're looking at about 18 seconds execution time. That's what we have here. Here we have 19 seconds because there is a loop back um, in Test Junkie itself uh, while processing suites and while waiting for suite completion. So we actually got one extra second, but each suite actually runs for nine seconds. Now, the question is how do we make this faster? Okay, and number one thing that we can do is to set threading limits for suits and for tests. So let's go, let's start with um, suite uh, threading limits. So the way we do this is I'm going to go into documentation for test junkie and I'm going to go into the object and I'm going to go into runner and I'm going to take a look at what properties I can set in the runner. And there's a property for suit multi-threading limits. So I'm actually going to copy this and I'm going to paste it into the run function and I'm going to set that to two. So if I set that to two and I run it right now, this actually is going to cut the runtime of the suites in half because it's going to run both of the suites in parallel. Okay. So both of the suites ran in parallel and you can see that runtime is now, it's still nine seconds per suite, but it's now nine seconds total. Now, how do we make this even faster? Can we? We can. So another thing we can do is if I, if I go back to the test junkie docs here, we have another property for test multi-threading limit. So if I copy test multi-threading limit and I set that over here, let's set it to five and I run the tests now, it's going to be a little bit faster because now we're able to run, um, we, we're able to run up to five tests in parallel. Now you can see that we have six seconds now per suite and overall we have six seconds. So how do we make this faster? We know that now we have one test here with uh, parameters, which actually takes five seconds to run. So this is the test that's actually blocking us right now. If we look at the execution here, six seconds, this one is actually taking five seconds. So if we can make this test faster, it's actually going to speed up our execution tremendously. So how do we make that test go faster? Well, let's go back to the docs and I'm going to go into the test decorator here. And what I'm looking for is parallelized parameters uh, property. So what that's going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to run all of these parameters in parallel. So this test doesn't have to wait for, for the test for the first parameter to finish before it starts test for the second parameter. And this is actually a really good uh, property to use for API testing. This will make your API test much faster. So we're going to set the uh, parallelized parameters to true uh, for both of the suites. And now we're going to run it one more time. So now you can see that this is running very fast. We're down from 19 seconds. We're down to two seconds. Now, can we make this even faster? And the answer is yes, because right now we're running up to five tests in 
parallel, there are some tests that are blocking and they have to wait. Now, if we increase this limit uh, to something higher, 18 or even 10, 10 should actually be enough, uh, then there should be anything that, that's blocking. So we're down to one second. From 19 seconds, we're down to one second. And we haven't wrote any code. The only thing we really did, we set one, two, three, four flags. That's it. And we went from 19 seconds down to one second, 19 times faster execution time, just with four flags. Now, one concern you may have is, well, what if you have certain suites or tests that you cannot run in parallel? Uh, for example, let's say suite A here is doing positive login flow testing and it's using the same account as suite B and let's say suite B is testing a flow for like resetting password or something, right? So you don't want to, you probably don't want to run those two suites at the same time because if your suit A tries to log in and assert that it's able to log into an account that suit B just reset a password for and the suit A no longer uh, has the, the new password, you're going to have a false positive or a false negative depending on how you look at it. So you don't want that. So with Test Junkie, you can actually avoid those cases. So if I don't want to run these two suits in parallel, I can set a property for that as well which if we go down here well actually let's go to the suit first so we're looking at uh, parallel restriction which is PR so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go back into my suite and you can set PR anywhere so I can set PR at example suit A or I can set PR at example suit B if I want to. You don't have to set it in both places. Test Junkie will actually build uh, the connection itself. So now I need to pass in um, suit B in here and I need the uh, test suit object for this. So make sure you import the object actually, like the, the actual class. So this guy, don't import the module import the class. So that's what I do from this module. I'm importing this class. So I set it in here and now if I run, it's actually going to be a bit slower because Test Junkie now has to wait for suit A to finish before it can run suit B. So we are up at three seconds. We could still make it faster if the only thing you need to restrict is maybe running specific tests in those suits. So let's say suit B, example test one, is actually the test that is resetting password. And in suit A, example test one, is actually the one that's testing the login flow. So let's say you, you don't wanna run just those two tests in parallel. So you can also do that. So I can remove the PR from the suit level and I can add PR for just that specific test case at the test level. Okay. And now, so it used to be three seconds and now it should be a little bit faster because we're just restricting one test here from running at the same time. So now you see we're down to two seconds overall execution test time while we are restricting certain tests from running in parallel. And you can see here that suit A ran in one second while suit B actually took two seconds to run. And that's because it started at the exact same time as suit A, but it had to wait one extra second for this test to, to finish before it could start its own uh, example test one and which took one second so we have two seconds overall now another thing you can do when running tests in parallel is maybe you don't want to run certain suites or certain tests in parallel at all okay maybe like they're, they're not suited for it so you can actually restrict them from running in, in uh, parallel mode um, overall. So you can set parallelized parameter to false and that will 
completely uh, remove the suit A, um, it will push it back in the queue. So until all the suites run that are okay to run in threaded mode, this suit will not run. So this will get deprioritized and push and get pushed all the way back in the queue. Uh, so let's see what happens. So now this takes three seconds again because now suit B had to run first before suit A could run and suit A actually ran within one second once it started running uh, but it had to wait uh, before suit A would get kicked off, it had to wait for suit B to get finished because suit A could not run in parallel because we said don't run it in parallel with this flag. Now you can also do the same thing at the test level. You can set uh, parallelized to false, which then will deprioritize this test and it will run this test um, by itself sequentially um, only after all other tests finish running. So let's see what that looks like. So again, um, this took a little bit longer for suit A to run because before we ran this test, we had to finish for all other tests to finish running. And then we started running example test one from suit A. So overall, if you do not use any restrictions, right? If you don't use any restrictions, we can achieve much higher execution times. But if you do need to use the restriction, you have the option to do that and it's very convenient. We haven't really written any code. Everything that we did, we did within just setting a couple of flags. So it's this very powerful uh, test junkie can really help you optimize the execution of your tests and we just covered threading in this video. There is so much more that uh, Test Junkie can do. Anyway, guys, if you learned something new, make sure to like the video, subscribe and share. Uh, this code is gonna be available on GitHub as well. Uh, check the description below for the links. And as always, have a good one, take care.